Um, when I first started coming to Saturday Sports, I was about in fourth grade, I believe. There were just people there that were supporting me to do good in school. And I think I was playing sports at the time, so they encouraged me because I was like the only girl playing with the boys. But I never let them discourage me. and I really had good support with them there. I saw Saturday sports like slowly going, like disappearing, that there was nobody going out there for the kids. I started to gather up a team of volunteers from my church to community-wise, from my work. You just have that family as a community. You don't think of just them as your neighbors, but they're your family now because they're always there to support you. Well, you know, with the school, uh, we have so many resources, but they're mostly, you know, educational. Our, but our kids have so many other needs besides just uh, the academic side. Uh, we need our kids to be able to understand that they're the, they're the next generation. They're the future of our country. And they have to take responsibility not only just for themselves, but for their, their neighbors. We have to take care of each other. We have, you know, when it comes to voting, getting a job, uh, following the, the, the laws, we have to respect each other. We have to help each other. And so seeing that partnership with the school and the community and people coming together to support them gives them that understanding that as I get older, now it's my turn. I have to give back. I have to help someone else along the way. Well, I think it's important for universities like Fresno State to partner with community-based organizations like EMP because it gives us a better sense of what's happening in our neighborhoods and, uh, and better uh, informing us about how to serve the community uh, in terms of education since our students are coming from the community and how do we better serve them. You know, Washington Monthly recently ranked us number 17 in the nation. But if you dig deep into that, you'd find we were uh, at the top in terms of community service. And uh, our work with EMP is a great example of that uh, community service. I think it's really important that businesses are involved in their community. And, and not just from the Chris perspective, but really from our side. We, we see our company as a faith-based business. And what that means is that even though we need to make a profit to survive and we need to have sales to survive and stuff, that's not our main thing. Our main thing is to further the gospel of Christ. And if we make the main thing the main thing and we do that, then the consequence of that becomes increased sales and increased profits. And so we've tried to really look at our business through that lens, that our business is really, um, the mission of it is to really do greater good around our community and around the people that, that we are serving. We see our business as something that God has given us and food is merely the means of, ex of driving that bigger purpose. It's the vehicle that God has given us to, to, to really fulfill the mission that, that He really wants from us. So we, we feel pretty connected with our community and uh, it's important, it's an important part. We do that by being not only engaged in our immediate community, but we also do it by being engaged in nonprofits around the city. And we are thrilled to be a part of Every Neighborhood Partnership because in this particular organization, they're the ones that are promoting the, com the connection between community and businesses and the connection between community and churches and things like that. And it's just so important for the health of our community. And we see it as very important for the health of our business as well. In uh, 2015, I was the Southeast District Commander in Southeast Fresno. And I go to these community meetings and I always hear, heard about EMP and Artie Padilla at these community meetings, but I, I didn't know them. So before I got to know them, I then became a District Commander here in Southwest Fresno last year. And now uh, I've gotten to know them and they're key partners in what we're doing here. And so here in Southwest, we're focused on elementary schools and the neighborhoods surrounding those elementary schools. Well, EMP's focus is also elementary schools. So from a tactical standpoint, it made sense for us to partner together. And so I reached out to Artie um, and we started doing things together. Uh, one of the first things we did was we put on a basketball clinic at Edison High School. It was uh, EMP, it was the Southwest District, and it was the Fresno Street Saints. And we took kids from Southwest Fresno and put on a clinic. Uh, Artie's staff went out there. Cross City Church came out there with their volunteers and their games and did an incredible job. The FPOA barbecued and we had a great, great time because what we want to do in Southwest Fresno is keep these kids busy during the summer months. Keep them busy when they're not in school because 
they're most vulnerable when they're not. And when I say vulnerable is we've got issues of violent crime, gang crime, gangs here. And so we're trying to keep them busy. There's been a momentum in Southwest I haven't seen. And now we're approaching three months now into it. And EMP and Artie Padilla, they've been the facilitator. So this was like a basketball team, EMP would be the point guard. They're facilitating it, they're bringing community leaders together. Um, and I love what Artie said this past community meeting we had at Legacy Commons. And he said, not one organization organization's in charge, God is in charge. And, he, and he's so right with that. And so uh, they've been the glue, they've been the facilitator. EMP, when you get with EMP is, a large network of well-resourced people that have passion, they care, professional, and I, I can't see doing a major initiative without including RDPD and ENP.